Good morning from Singapore. Today we're heading to China. So we're making a quick little pit stop on the way to Chinatown. We're here at the Fort Canning Park. Yeah, there is a very interesting underground tunnel in the park and uh, there's a bunch of people taking photos. So we got intrigued and we came and looked around. Unfortunately, there's a very large line if you want to take like the iconic photos. So mm -hmm. I don't think we're going to wait in that line. No. This park has like a Roomba but for the lawn. That's so cool. Can I get a Roomba for the lawn? We don't even have a lawn. That's fine. We can get a lawn. This park is super beautiful so I think we're gonna chill here for a little bit and have a little snack. We managed to find a 7-Eleven really close by so we grabbed a sandwich. All right, I think we are all done with the park. We're getting way too sweaty and our main mission was actually to go to Chinatown to eat some good food so. Time to head to Chinatown for realsies this time. Yep, my belly is ready. We have made it to Chinatown. Such a cool neighborhood with so many shops. Makes me want to go shopping. No shopping, only eating. Fine. We're going to head to the famous Maxwell Hooker Center. Let's go. Because we know better than to all the dads. We have made it to the Maxwell Food Center and there are so many stalls here. That's gigantic. There's one that has a giant line, so I think we're gonna eat here for sure and then probably try a couple more things as well. So we just got all of our food and it looks really good. We got a barbecue meat set as well as the famous chicken rice. And originally we wanted to go to this place called Tian Tian Chicken Rice, which is like the most famous stall here, but it was closed, so we were a little bit upset. But it turns out that the chef from that place actually moved to a different stall, so we went to that stall, and apparently this place is now the actual best. So we'll see. The barbecue is so good. I totally understand why there's a giant line now. It's like the outside is so crispy. There's pork, there's duck, there's some other stuff. Wow, it's very really good. The chicken rice is very tender. And the rice is soaked up with the chicken broth. Really good. The rice is actually like, definitely the star of the show here. That meal was super satisfying. I especially loved the barbecue. It was, it was on point. But Sandy apparently is still hungry. So we're gonna walk around more and find more food too. We got a snack. Green Victory. Never seen it before. I'm very excited for this. It's super buttery. It's like a butter cookie outside. Mmm. Oh my gosh, the process is so good. It's really good. I guess we're gonna find out. We got our coffee. Let's give it a try. Mmm. That's really good. It's like pretty strong, but like really sweet. I like it. Got a lemon plum juice. I've been loving all the plum juices in Southeast Asia. This is like so perfect for a hot sunny day like this.
Chinatown here in Singapore is super, super pretty. I love all the buildings and there's so many places to grab like knickknacks and stuff. So if you're looking to do some souvenir shopping, this is definitely the place to do it. Now I think we walked off our food, so we're ready to eat some more and we're gonna head to the next hawker center. We are here now at the Chinatown Complex Food Court and we have heard that if you want to get cheap and delicious food in Singapore, this is the place to be. So we're just going to wander around and look for something good to eat. We got our food, we got some Xiaolong Bao, which are soup dumplings, as well as some Char Kui Tao, which is a fried noodle which is very famous in Penang, where we were earlier. So we're excited to try the Singaporean version. It looks a little different, so we're excited to see what it tastes like. my spoon so normally you want to like take a bite and then kind of pour the soup out into a spoon but I didn't do that so hopefully it's not too hot because I'm just gonna shove it all in my mouth so my favorite soup dumplings in the world are from Jin Tai Fung in Taiwan so let's see how these compare to that they're really good the wrapper is a lot thicker than some of the other places they're really tasty there's a solid amount of meat inside it's really good is this good as Jin Tai Fung? no not even look. But, I mean, nothing can compare to Jin Tai Fung, the greatest soup dumpling in the world. Humidity plus like air does not go well. It just keeps getting like flat and weird and Maybe this is my new style right here. There you go. It looks great. Oh god, what did I do? <laughs> I have a new travel plan for Singapore. We're just gonna eat five meals a day because all the food we have so far are so good. It is so hot though. Thankfully where we're sitting, there's a fan pointing like right at us. But even still, it's very, very hot in here. I think we're just gonna finish up all the food and then probably make our way back to our Airbnb for a little bit so we can cool down and shower. Definitely shower. Later that night. We are all rested up and so now it's time to grab some food. Yep, and we're heading to another hawker place. A new place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. We made it to the Newton Food Center. You might actually recognize this place because it was featured in the movie Crazy Rich Asians. And we've heard that it's really awesome, just like all the other Hogger Centers. So we're excited to eat some food. Get me up so new, so I can find myself. This place is bumping. It's so busy. There's so many people here just enjoying food. And like some people have like a mountain of food. It's, it's crazy. I got our first set of food over here. We got some satay and some chicken wings. I'm seriously loving the satay here in Singapore. It's honestly the best thing ever. Mm. So, so good. It's like a little bit sweet. And just that charcoal -y taste is so nice. We also got some wings and I also got a banana shake. I'm just waiting for Sandy. He went to go get some other food, but she's not back yet. So I should really be waiting for her, but I'm not gonna wait for her. I'm just gonna eat because it's delicious. I was in the dark against it all, but made it through the day, cause I find my 
You know, the thing about Singapore is that there's lots and lots of like fancy restaurants. But I think if you come to Singapore, you shouldn't go to any of those because you can get fancy restaurants everywhere. Like any country in the world, you can get a nice quality fancy restaurant. But like this style hawker food, you can pretty much only get here. Malaysia's is very similar, but not quite the same. And the quality is definitely a lot higher here in Singapore, from what we've experienced at least. And like, it's a must do thing when you're here. Like, if you come to Singapore, go look at all the fancy buildings, and then come to one of the hawker stalls and eat here. And after you finish eating the sake, you can stab people. Peter and Sandy do not endorse stabbing people. No, that's a Sandy. Anyways guys, I think we're just gonna finish all of this delicious food, maybe try a little bit more, and then make our way back to our Airbnb. I hope you guys enjoyed coming to Singapore with us. We've had a great time here, and I think we'll definitely be back. If you haven't liked our videos, please hit the like button and 